Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, Excel tips and tricks, and learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, today we're going to learn something about Excel you probably didn't know unless you've been around spreadsheets for a long time. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I've been around spreadsheets a long time. The, uh, this week is the 30th birthday of Lotus 123. So you may or may not have heard of that. It was one of the first spreadsheets that kind of came out. Uh, they started to be used by um, folks around the world. And uh, it was a DOS-based system. It didn't have a mouse. So everything was done with keyboard shortcuts. And uh, they had a unique, unique way of doing um, functions. One of the first spreadsheets that had a lot of functions with it. And uh, I want to show you a couple of things that you probably didn't know that are still available in Excel uh, for Lotus 1, 2, 3 users. So let's go ahead and uh, go to do a spreadsheet and just put in like 4, 5, 6 there in cell A1 through A3. Normally you would go over and type in equals sum and then come over and highlight that range in your parentheses and hit enter and you would see 15 as your value. You still can use the Lotus function of add sum and you can highlight the range and look at that the same exact value so you can use the at sum feature it's just like using equal sum lots of lots of different functions uh, at sum at average it's like at AVG uh, they're still in use today because uh, uh, Excel was transitioning users to, from Lotus to Excel and they wanted everybody uh, back then had known what the keyboard shortcuts were, what the function shortcuts were. Uh, so uh, they had that as a transition. There's, uh, let's take a look at one of those other transitions. If you go up to your file ribbon you will, and go down to your options section here, you'll see this options menu. And then if you go into the advanced options, and then what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way to the very, very bottom. You will see that there's these Lotus compatibility section right here. And uh, look, it says Microsoft Excel menu key. Well, remember, everything uh, in Lotus didn't usually have a mouse, so especially in the early days in DOS. So you had to bring up a menu. And how you did that was put by pressing this forward slash key. Uh, and you can change some other things in here in Excel uh, to uh, make your transition easier from Lotus. So let's go back into the spreadsheet. And uh, normally if I hit the Alt key, notice that all of these uh, letters have popped up. M for formula, A for data. These are the keyboard shortcuts. V for, uh, W for a view a ribbon, H for the home ribbon. So that was by pressing the Alt key. Let's pre press the uh, forward slash key that is, so it looks like, um, looks like this. Uh, let's go ahead and um, press that key and look at that the same shortcuts are coming up um, so this was how you used to access the menus in Lotus Excel 123 and by pressing that uh, forward slash key and look it brings up those same things so if I uh, if I do forward slash W look at that my view menu popped up and I still have the shortcuts uh, being shown so happy birthday Lotus Excel I'm sorry Lotus 123 and uh, thank you Excel for moving us to the next generation of computing this is Steve True with Excel dashboard templates.com don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest post directly in your inbox